Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Domkey F5XB shoulder camera bag, which is exclusively sold at Best Buy. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so here it is. Let's uh, jump into, well, before we jump into the uh, details of the little bag here, I just wanna, uh, I mentioned that it was sold exclusively at uh, Best Buy, and I wasn't aware of that. I did buy it at Best Buy, but I didn't know it was an exclusive bag for Best Buy. Uh, Tiffin, the uh, parent company of uh, Domkey, actually reposted a picture of mine that I uh, posted on Instagram, and that's where I found out that it was an exclusive bag for Best Buy. The, uh, there's a similar model. It's, it's basically the same bag, but this one is just all military style. There's no Domkey uh, logo out here. Actually, the, the Domkey logo is on the inside, but it's basically the same bag that uh, you can find everywhere else, like on Amazon or other camera shops that has the Domkey logo out here. Uh, but it is a green military style bag, 100% uh, wax cotton canvas is the uh, build on it. Very nice. It brings this uh, refinishing wax uh, so you could uh, maintain the uh, nice rugged look on it. Um, it has a camera or excuse me, has a shoulder strap that hooks on very easily. It has these uh, hooks on here where you can hook onto the loop and uh, you know, just snap that on there and you know, you're on your way. But uh, you can also use this as a, uh, on your, on your waist, you can put it on, on your belt. It has this, this opening back here so you can run your belt through it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that I'd use it like that. It's not what I got it for, but you do have that option. Made in USA, uh, it's 10 and a half inches wide. It's about seven and a quarter inches tall and the depth of it is four and a half inches. Brings five compartments, has that front pocket here. On the inside, you have another pocket and then you have your two dividers which create you know, three uh, compartments for you. These are adjustable dividers, so you can take one out. You don't have to use them. Uh, just, you know, configure it according to what equipment you're using it with. Great little bag. I think it's, uh, you could pack several things in here. If you have a DSLR body, you can get that in there with about two lenses. If you're using micro four thirds, you can jam pack it uh, with plenty of stuff in here. Or if you have like a point and shoot, uh, an action camera, a mic or whatever, you know, a, a small tripod. You know, there's just several ways you can configure this little bag. So obviously we all have different needs and stuff, but I always like to explain why I make my purchases. I always travel with this backpack here. This is the Low Pro Pro Tactic 250 AW. Great backpack, I love this backpack. And I usually, and it will always go with me when I travel. But sometimes when I'm actually at my destination or even here at home, uh, when I just wanna go out and about, I don't feel like carrying a backpack. I don't want everybody to know that I have uh, a camera bag on me. And so this one is more like discreet, you know, it's uh, stylish. I, li I like the, uh, the military green and uh, it's just, I like the, the retro look and, and the, uh, it's just, you know, it's a nice little classy bag in my opinion. Uh, put it on my shoulder and you don't really know what I have in here. So uh, it doesn't even have the branding on, on the outside. So that's, a, that's one of the main reasons why I got this one. For the price point, I think it's a great deal. It's running uh, usually 80, like around $82, I believe. Uh, but Best Buy has it for about $47.99, so you may want to check that out. All right, guys, just so you can get an idea of what I can, you could fit in your bag. Again, I shoot with Micro Four Thirds system, so all right, I usually walk around with my uh, GX8. Get that in there, my camera body with the uh, 25 millimeter attached to it. Uh, I have a 45 millimeter, excuse me, 42.5 millimeter lens in here. Broken on, eight millimeter fisheye in there, and I usually have either the seven to 14 millimeter in here or the one I'm shooting with right now, which is the 12 to uh, 35 millimeter. Inside the front pocket, I'll put my uh, Peak Design clip, spare batteries, lens cap, and then my front pocket, I usually put the, uh, the wipe there for my camera bag and a brush. Just wanted to show you kind of uh, an example of what you can get in there. So I'm very happy with it. I think it's a great street photography backpack or camera bag, uh, great for travel uh, when you're out and about. Um, you can pack in uh, quite a few things in here and uh, you're on your way. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know uh, what you're using, comment down below. If you have any other questions, I'd, I'd be uh, happy to uh, answer them. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found some value to it. If you did, give me some thumbs up. I always appreciate the support. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I will have some new travel vlogs coming up here within the next month and a half or so. More uh, videos on some uh, equipment also. 
And uh, let's link up on all the social media uh, platforms. I'm gonna put the links here. Check me out over there as well. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. All right, again, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.